Hello and welcome back to Tip Top C Sharp Tutorials. In today's video, we will take a look at uh, a special data structure or a collection named hash set. So, what is the agenda for today? First, we will see what is a hash set. Then, we will have a short hands on session where we will create an instance of hash set and review the underlying classes and interfaces for hash set. Finally, we will have a set of points to ponder. To understand uh, what are the tips and tactics or the use cases for hash set. So what is a hash set in C sharp? So if you are coming from a mathematical background you know there is a set theory in mathematics. So this hash set is an implementation of set in .NET framework. It was introduced in .NET 4.0 so if you are planning to make use of hash set class, you should have at least a .NET 4.0 and above. Then what is the peculiarity of a hash set? So if you want to uh, have a set which does not contain duplicate elements, this is the data structure for it. So that is a peculiarity of a set even in mathematics. And uh, what is the order of elements? There is no particular order in or for the elements stored in a set. So the point number three and four are most important when you consider hash set. So let's have a hands-on session. Uh, what we will have in this session is a brief look at the hash set and an interface called iset. Then we will see different operations in hash set class. So I'm using Visual Studio here and um, this is the namespace which we need for hash set system start collection start generic. Let me try to create a new hash set class. So this is actually a generic class. If you see, there is no non-generic ways to create a hash set. My hash set. Let's new hash set of string. So for convenience, I'm just taking string as an example but it could be any type. Let me try to add an element to it. Before that, uh, we can take a look at the class. Okay, let me go to the definition of hash set class. So this is defined under system.collections.generic as I already told. And uh, let me take a look at this interface, I set. So this is a new interface uh, specific to uh, hash set. In other collections, you will see enumerable, i list, and i dictionary, etc. So, for hash set, you will see i set. Let's take a look at the operations listing here. So, it has add, accept, and uh, intersection, union, etc. These are the standard uh, set theory operations. And it has some conditional method which will help you understand whether it's a subset or superset. So, subset and superset uh, is nothing but the containment and uh, the part part by part comparison of set. Okay. So we have instantiated a new hash set here. Now let me try to add a element to it. First. So this is the first element. Let me try to run this application. and see what happens here. So in addition, it got added and the count is one. Let's try one more, one more uh, element with the same uh, name or the same uh, string here. Let me try to add uh, again first. And see what happens. Okay, so with this statement executor, we have the, the count as one because the, the element being added is first. Let us closely watch and see what happens when you try to add the same element again. See, so there is no element being added because it is this duplicate element. The same element cannot be added again and it does not throw any error. When I started reading about uh, hash set, I thought there would be an exception thrown so that user will be understanding, okay, I supplied some duplicate element. 
but uh, this is by design we are not going to get any error we need to understand that set will not have duplicate elements that is a core principle of a set so let's let's change it to second element and see whether we will get two elements when you try to add so now the count has been increased to one let me try to execute the second statement as well now the count is two so we have two elements here first and second all right So we have seen uh, uh, hash set, I set and hash set operations such as add and if you want to understand different operations we can just bring down the interessance menu and see. So we can have add, we can uh, let me create another hash table or hash set sorry I'm so we're dealing with hash set here. <coughs> Let me try to add uh, an element of the second hash set. Okay. The second one. And I'm going to do a union with the first hash set. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at the code in action. Let's debug this. So now your first hash set contains two elements and the second one contains one element and let's execute the union statement. Now what happens? The second hash set has been merged or taken a union with the first one. The important point to understand is uh, hash set always retain the core characteristic of uh, duplicate elements. So even if you merge two hash sets there will not be duplicate elements. Let me show you that in action. Okay, I'm debugging again. Now your first hash set has two elements in it. Second hash set has zero elements. And uh, after uh, doing a union, earlier we have seen uh, distinct elements and the count has become three. Now after union, you'll see the count is two. Why? Because the element which we added already exists there. So it does not increment the count. Okay. So I'm going to remove this union and uh, trying to do with another operation called intersect. So intersection is nothing but the common elements which is a member of both hash sets. Okay. Okay. Let me start debugging again. So first hash set has two elements, second hash set will be getting uh, two elements now and I'm going to do an intersection and find out what is the common elements in both. So now the second hash set and the first hash set has one element in common that is this one. So finally we will be able to see that here. So these are the core operations or most important operations of a hash set. Moving to uh, the summary or points to ponder. So where to use hash set? So this question basically uh, stems from the core characteristic of a hash set. Whenever you want to have unique values, for example, if you are trying to parse a text file and find out a set of words which is not duplicated. For example, in a paragraph, you want to return all the words. 
there could be a lot of lot of words uh, the vowels there could be words which keeps on repeating so you don't want all those things we want to filter out the uh, unique values and the parser output should be stored somewhere in a data structure in such a such an example such a scenario you can use hash set this is just an example uh, there could be a lot of scenarios uh, you deal with a lot of system objects and find that uh, you don't need to see a lot of duplicated values then you can store all these values in a hash set it will do the duplicate check for you and how about the sort order of elements so when you say that this set does not have a particular order of storing is there any way to uh, sort this yeah there's another data structure called s s sorted set in uh, c sharp we can make use of that one if at all you are very peculiar about the order of uh, hash set elements and the last question is is it serializable yeah definitely it is serializable it implements i serializable interface so whatever objects you uh, add to the hash set it should be serializable then only uh, we will be able to serialize the entire hash set okay that is the only prerequisite so that's all about the hash set class and um, enjoy coding thank you for watching tip top c sharp tutorials